All of us have lived through the failed experiment of mass mandatory masking. Today, I want to ensure that we do not subject the American people to this tyranny, in, for, this tyranny again for the sake of nothing. We've recently seen a seasonal uptick of COVID cases across the country. This is not something to worry about. I don't like this fact, but COVID is here to stay. Seasonal upticks in a respiratory virus are exactly to be expected. They shouldn't cause panic from our leadership or from our country, and they shouldn't cause us to reimpose a policy that has failed time and time again. Many are now calling to bring back mask mandates and regulate social gatherings. I've heard some of my friends on the opposite side of the aisle say that no one is trying to do this, but let's just recapture and summarize the last couple of weeks. In August, Lionsgate Studio asked its employees to wear masks at their filming facility. Last week, Kaiser Permanente reimposed the requirement for staff and visitors to wear masks at its Santa Rosa, California facility. Schools such as Morris Brown College in Atlanta and even local public schools here in the D.C. area have reimposed mask mandates. Now, it's not just that masks, according to randomized controlled studies, do no good. It's that they can actively cause harm. We know that a generation of school children have suffered significant speech and developmental disabilities because this country panicked instead of using its brain and forced toddlers and small children to wear masks. We cannot return to the failed policies of the COVID pandemic. I'm not mad that we screwed up. I made mistakes. Many people in this body made mistakes. What I do think that we should avoid is repeating the mistakes in 2023. Let's learn from the mistakes that we made instead of just doubling down on them. This policy does not set anything for an unlimited period of time. It says that for the next 15 months, the government can't force you to wear a mask on planes, on public transit, or in public schools. Taxpayer dollars cannot be used to force and enforce a mandate against our people. It's not setting a policy that we cannot deal with pandemics in the future. If something else comes, God forbid, then let this body deal with it at this time. But now let's learn the message. Let's heed the message from the American people and let's learn the lessons of the past couple of years. Mandatory masking was a failure. It had costs for very little benefits and we shouldn't repeat it. Mr. President, as of in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of S-2738, the Freedom to Breathe Act, which is at desk. Further, that the bill be considered read a third time and passed and the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate.